Atlantic Spine Center offers posterior lumbar interbody fusion. The spinal column or backbone is one of the most important parts of your body. It provides the main support, allowing you to stand upright, bend, and twist. Thirty-three individual bones interlock with each other to form the spinal column. The vertebrae are numbered and divided into regions. C1 through C7, cervical vertebrae, form your neck, support your head and neck, and allow you to nod and shake your head. T1 through T12, thoracic, that's the 12 vertebrae that are joined by ribs to form your rib cage. L1 through L5, lumbar, your five sturdy lumbar vertebrae carry most of the weight of your upper body and provide a stable center of gravity when you move. Five vertebrae of the sacrum and four of the coccyx are fused. It makes up the back wall of your pelvis. Between each of the movable vertebrae is located the intervertebral disc. Intervertebral discs consist of a thick outer layer with a crisscrossing fibrous structure, annulus, that surrounds the soft gel-like center, the nucleus. Discs function like shock-absorbing springs. The annulus pulls the vertebral bodies together against the elastic resistance of the gel-filled nucleus. When you bend, the nucleus acts like a ball bearing, allowing the vertebral bodies to roll over the incompressible gel. Each disc works in concert with two facet joints, forming a spinal motion segment. The biomechanical function of each pair of facet joints is to guide and limit the movement of the spinal motion segment. The surfaces of the joint are coated with cartilage that helps each joint move smoothly. Directly behind the discs, the ring-like vertebral bodies create a vertical tunnel called the spinal canal or neural canal. The spinal cord and spinal nerves pass through the spinal canal, which protects them from injury. The spinal cord is the major column of nerve tissue that is connected to the brain and serves as an information superhighway between the brain and the body. The nerves in your spinal cord branch off to form pairs of nerve roots that travel through the small openings between your vertebrae, intervertebral foramens. In consequence of aging or trauma, the intervertebral disc can be damaged or degenerated. Loss of disc height can cause bulging of the disc, putting pressure on the nerves exiting the spine. Disc degeneration and facet joints overloading can cause their arthritic overgrowth. This resultant loss of space in the foramen can cause squeezing or pinching of the nerve roots as they exit the spine. This condition is called lateral stenosis. Spondylolisthesis is a common lumbar spine problem when the disc is unstable and allows the upper vertebral body to slide forward. Lumbar disc disease can cause severe pain in the back and legs and sporadic tingling or weakness through the knees. Disc diseases treatment is intended to reestablish the height of a disc and stop movement to alleviate pain. The PLIF is defined as posterior lumbar interbody fusion. This approach requires a four to six inch incision in the center of the back to access one or two levels. Initial posterior fixation is used to expand the intervertebral space. PLIF approach removes the spinous processes along with the lamina and facet joints. The spinal cord is retracted and the surgeon can access the disc. The surgeon can then remove the diseased nucleus to prepare the vertebral bodies for fusion. After the disc is prepared, a biocompatible polymer implant is filled with bone graft material and placed in the disc space. The procedure is repeated for the other side. Additional bone graft may be placed around the implants to increase the surface area for fusion. 
This procedure is normally accompanied by a posterior fixation with pedicle screws. The implant maintains the spacing of the vertebrae while the fusion takes place. After the fusion is completed and a solid bone mass forms, the two vertebrae are joined together. Atlantic Spine Center. Less invasive, better results.